Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you 15 amazing mods for Forge Minecraft version 1.20.1. Let's head into the video. The first mod on the list is Blossom Blade, and this is actually a super small and simple Minecraft mod, but it's still really cool and I love the feature it adds to the game. The mod adds a new structure to the game, a Blossom Blade in the Cherry Grove biome. This Iron Sword, enchanted with smite and sharpness, is stuck in a stone, which kinda looks like a small monument, and of course you can pull out a sword from the stone. And that's it, just a small feature, but I love the medieval and fantasy vibe and the simplicity of the mod. It perfectly fits into Minecraft, and I believe this feature could also be included in Vanilla. And before we move on to our next mod, thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. I usually use a browser while playing games, however, most browsers are pretty boring, cannot really be customized or are not made for gaming purposes, and use too much RAM for example, which causes your game to look like this, especially when playing with many mods. The Opera GX browser fixes that exact problem. The GX mod section enables you to personalize your browser as you want, with one click. You can change the browser's background music, keyboard sounds, opening and closing tab sounds, the browser design, wallpapers and so much more. All of that can be easily enabled and disabled in the mods menu in the sidebar. There's a wide range of mods that you can explore and use in the GX store. But that is not all. Opera GX now also has generative AI included, like the Smart AI Prompts tool, which summarizes articles for you, finds content, shortens the text, or even does your homework. So less work for you and more time for playing Minecraft mods. Of course, you can also quickly access ChatGPT in the browser. ChatSonic even enables image generation. Of course, you might need to watch a few tutorials on your browser or check recipes, builds and so on while playing with mods. Problem is that browsers often consume a lot of memory and fry your PC. GX control by Opera GX prevents that from happening by setting a limit for the CPU or RAM usage by the browser. Switching from your old browser to Opera GX is super easy because you can import all the data from your previous browser using the quick import tool. It is also compatible with every Chrome extension. Use my link below to download Opera GX today. Cannibal Conundrum is a mod that will introduce a new structure and new dangerous mobs to your Minecraft world. The deadly cannibals are based on pillagers, and the mod is inspired by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. There are 5 new items, 2 new blocks, and 2 dangerous mobs. The structure itself looks like a worn down village, and there you can find a bunch of pillager-like mobs that are pretty strong, so I would definitely not enter the village unprepared. These mobs will attack you, but there will also be some valuable loot to find. Besides the normal inhabitants of the cannibal village, which are wielding bone swords and are really fast, there is a much more threatening opponent, the cannibal butcher, which is a large mob that also spawns in the villages and is a mini-boss that uses a powerful stone sword to attack you. I really like the mob models of the cannibal butcher and that the mod has a connection to existing Minecraft content. However, the cannibal butcher mini-boss seemed a bit strong to me because its damage was really high. Besides that, a cool mod. Our third mod is Stalwart Dungeons, and this mod is a really popular Minecraft Dungeons mod with more than 15 million downloads. The mod adds two new dungeons to the nether and one to the end dimension, alongside many new dangerous foes. These dungeons are built different compared to vanilla dungeons, because you have new monsters, which are already quite strong themselves, but in every dungeon you also have a powerful boss that you can summon using a nether star. In the nether, you can face an awful ghast that will deal ranged damage first, but later attack you in close range. There's also a keeping castle that is home to a golem-like boss, which is super dangerous, and also a bunch of minions that can be quite annoying. And in the end dimension, there's a, well, mutated shulker, which is just a Minecraft block that will fight you with new drone-like shulker creatures. Besides the mobs and the dungeons, there are a few new armors and functional blocks, like pusher blocks, which can be used for item transportation, and overall, the mod is mostly based on Minecraft content and mobs like ghasts, golems, blazes, skeletons and so on. Personally, I'm not such a big fan of additional armors and mods. However, the mob design and dungeons are really cool, so the mod is definitely worth checking out. Let's Do Brewery is the newest release of the Minecraft food mod series Let's Do. This new mod lets you brew your own beverages in Minecraft. You can make beer, whiskey and more, but that is not all. This mod will also introduce everything you need for your own brew festival, with traditional Bavarian clothing, lederhosen, shirts and the dirndl included. There are new building blocks, decorative elements, food blocks and especially many new functional blocks to brew your beers, which look pretty cool. 
there's even a new brew festival tent you can find, with many beverages and other decorative blocks. You need to farm crops like corn and barley, which are added by the mod, use a drying silo and throw all of your crops in there, then you need to take the dried crops and add them with some other ingredients in the brewing station, and so on. So you can go through a cool process and make your own beverages. The beverages can even be placed on the ground, simply as decorations. And overall, like its companion mods, this part of the Let's Do series is again made in a high quality. However, it is worth mentioning that the mod does add many items and blocks to the game, so it is pretty large for a brewing mod. Some of you might know that I'm also a big fan of Alcocraft, which is another brewing mod, and to be honest, I think both mods are on a similar level. Alcocraft is more simple, while Let's Do Brewery adds more content revolving beverages and beer. The only thing that I think could be improved in this mod here are the keg models. Besides that, as always, great work. The Aux is a mod that has just 1000 downloads and was just released a couple of days ago. This mod adds a new Orc camp structure to Minecraft. This Orc defended camp has a lot of loot hidden within, as well as some villager prisoners. If you approach this village, the Orcs will attack you. There are four types of Orcs. A Shaman, which will throw poison at you, but can also attack you in close range. A Ranger, which uses a large bow or small crossbow to fight you. And a Grunt, which is an aggressive close range fighter that will charge at you. Finally, there is the Orc Leader, which spawns once in every camp and which uses a powerful hammer to crush you. The mod introduces a new style of mob models to Minecraft, which weighs off a bit from vanilla models and texturing. However, I think the mobs look pretty cool and are also unique in their design. The balancing is also good in my opinion, because none of the mobs seem too strong or weak. So it is a cool addition to Minecraft, if you are looking for some fantasy creatures like orcs in your Minecraft world. Of course this mod is in competition with the vanilla expanded orcs mod, which is pretty popular but everyone has to make the decision for themselves, which mod they prefer. Anyway, for a newcomer, this mod is pretty well made. Let's move on to Villagers and Pillagers. And this is a structure mod that introduces hostile and unfriendly pillagers to Minecraft, providing a contrast to the peaceful villagers we all know. At the moment, the mod only adds a witch village, which is hidden within swamps and mangrove biomes. The village looks exactly like you would expect. It is mossy, sometimes on top of water, and there are bubbling cauldrons, treacherous box, and of course many witches you need to face. The mod is compatible with other world generation mods, and even the waystones mod. I really like the mod, because the villagers are vanilla friendly and look really cool. The mod already has about 1.5 million downloads, and I'm looking forward to the further development and new villages that would be included. Ice and Fire Dragons might be one of the most famous Minecraft mods of all time. It has over 60 million downloads and is available in a large variety of Minecraft versions. The mod is huge and basically a whole mod pack in a single mod. It will turn your Minecraft world into a fantasy adventure. The mod is focused on dragons and will add different types of dragons that you can fight or tame to Minecraft. You can ride these dragons, let them spit fire or just fly around with them. But the developers didn't stop here. The mod also adds a bunch of fantasy creatures to the game. There are hippogriffs, gorgons, deathworms, mermaids, sea serpents and so much more. So it really adds an insane amount of content. And since the beginning of this year, the mod is finally also available for Minecraft version 1.20.1. .1. And I have to say, the mod models are incredibly well made and just look amazing. There are also super interesting mechanics included, like a medusa-like mob that will turn any mob or player into stone statues or the sea serpent, which will jump out of the water when fighting you. Besides the mobs, there are also many new equipment pieces you can craft with the new items. There are powerful armor sets, strong weapons and some useful new tools to help you deal with your new fantasy pets. The mod also adds a bunch of structures and this might be the only criticism I have, because the structures could sometimes spawn in more appropriate locations and could use a redesign so they look prettier and fit better in the Minecraft world. If you're easily overwhelmed by large Minecraft mods, you really need to watch out, because this mod is really big. But if you're looking for a fantasy Minecraft experience with many mythical creatures and especially dragons, go for it. Next, we have small ships, and I've been waiting for a long time for this mod to finally be available for version 1.20.1, .1, because it is possibly the best Minecraft ship mod out there. The mod introduces four types of Minecraft ships to the game, in which you can sail or row to cover long distances. These ships can store items, provide space for many players to sit in, and you can even equip them with cannons for epic naval battles. 
On one ship, you can even mount shields for additional protection. Of course, these ships are not dozens of blocks long, because that would make it really difficult to travel with them in rivers, for example, and would probably also be quite harmful to your performance. However, they still look really cool and have great mechanics of lowering your sails to change your pace, and also the damage system is well thought out. So whether you want to travel alone, transport a bunch of mobs, or your squad or multiplayer servers, this mod is a good choice. It is even compatible with the workers mod and soon the recruits mod, so you can tell a merchant for example to automatically travel by boat to a location to trade there. Realm RPG Dragonworms adds new types of small dragon-like creatures to the end and other dimension in order to make these places more dangerous, but without going too far from the original game design, because they are based on the ender dragon. These creatures are moderately strong, can use ranged attacks and the mob design is really well made because there are proper animations for them flying and the mob models look pretty cool and still fit into vanilla. The mod is part of the Realm RPG series, which features vanilla-like medieval fantasy editions, and I believe it does its job really well. A small addition to Minecraft, but does what it sets out to do. Cool mod. The next mod on our list is Simple Planes, and this is a mod I showcased many months ago, and that is still being updated to this day. The mod adds three types of aircraft that you can fly, a small plane with one seat, a large plane for an additional passenger, and even a helicopter with two seats. You can craft these aircraft, equip them with the necessary items, like an engine, and then lift off. Steering them is more difficult compared to other plane mods in Minecraft, so it may take some time to finally master the ability to fly them with ease. What is really cool about this mod is that it also adds a bunch of optional add-ons for your planes and helicopters like solar panels for energy, additional seats for more players, more armor, storage, weapon systems or add-ons so you can land on water. So highly customizable planes and a mod that is survival friendly and easy to understand. Definitely worth checking out. When I saw Jujutsu Craft for the first time, I thought to myself, Jujutsu Kaisen Minecraft, how should that work? But after trying out the mod, I am just stunned by the amount of content and the amazing animations it adds to Minecraft. The mod basically adds a lot of content, mobs, armors, abilities, blocks and so on, all revolving around the Jujutsu Kaisen anime to Minecraft. And even though mods that add complicated franchises to Minecraft often look, well, not really great, this mod does an amazing job by creating some incredible visuals and animations. You can actually watch the characters fighting each other using their respective abilities from the series, the character models are super detailed and also the abilities like domain expansion are made in such a high quality, it is crazy. There is basically every character from the series included and you can watch them use their abilities. There are also a bunch of structures with places from the series. You can learn to use the techniques yourself to exercise cursed spirits and raise your grade. This mod is super complex and large and what I am showing you here is only a super small part of all the content included. If you are looking for a vanilla-like mod or a simple magic mod, then this is not really the right one for you. But if you are a Jujutsu Kaisen fan and are looking for something completely new, definitely check this mod out. Next, we have a mod called Wild West. And this is a mod that will add a variety of guns and weaponry to Minecraft. There are four different guns included. A revolver, repeater, shotgun and scoped rifle. These guns need ammo and have a cooldown as well as a reload time. Furthermore, there is dynamite which can be thrown, and new functional items, like a handheld lantern, an ammo pouch to store ammunition, as well as blocks to craft your new guns. Overall, I would say, this mod is pretty survival friendly, because the balancing and damage of the weapons is good. You can't spam them like crazy, and it takes some time to reload them. I really think a large Wild West mod in Minecraft would be amazing, with clothing, structures, weapons, maybe a few hostile mobs, and even a new biome, and possibly an integration with the create mod trains, to create a whole new Wild West universe in Minecraft. Up next we have a mod called Tex Village Architect. This is a new Minecraft structure mod that will overhaul all Minecraft villages. And this mod does it in a really cool way, in my opinion, as it kind of keeps that vanilla feel to the villages, while giving them a fresh coat of paint. The new buildings in the villages are usually a bit larger and also use more different types of blocks compared to just wood. The buildings for the different professions feel also more unique in my opinion. The Plains Village keeps a wood and stone based style with some additional wool in the buildings. 
The Taiga and Snowy Villages use a Nordic style, and the Cherry Grove Villages are inspired by Japanese architecture. If you like how the villages look like, check this mod out. For our next mod, we have HRB's Drills, and this mod adds one machine to Minecraft, a large drill. If you ever wanted to make mining easier and increase the speed of mining blocks in Minecraft to collect more resources and building blocks, this drill can do the job for you. Simply craft a drill, put in some fuel, and then you can drill through mountains, caves and so on. Of course, some of you will argue that the drill is too overpowered, and it is definitely not a vanilla style addition. But if you are just tired of mining with a pickaxe for hours, this can take some work off your shoulders. The last mod on our list is Medieval Buildings and Edition. This mod expands the end dimension with 5 new impressive medieval end style structures. These buildings are full of treasures, but also traps and opponents. It is a companion mod to Medieval Buildings, which I showcased in the video a couple of days ago. And yeah, the structures look great, fit pretty well in the end dimension, and just add some more variation to it and introduce new adventure content, which is pretty cool. If you like the structure's design, feel free to check this mod out. This is it for this video. You can find the links to all of the mods in the description below. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this in the future, feel free to leave a like, comment or subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.